Hi, welcome to my channel Trick Trip and please do subscribe, also like, comment and share. Today I'm gonna discuss the dentinogenesis and here we'll cover differentiation of odontoblasts, organic matrix formation for mantle dentine, circumpulpal dentine, mineralization, radicular dentinogenesis, secondary and tertiary dentinogenesis. Dentinogenesis is the formation of dentine where mantle dentine is first formed and circumpulpal dentine is formed after the mantle dentine. Now what happens the inner enamel epithelial cells induces the dental papilla cells to differentiate into odontoblasts. What they do they lay an unmineralized organic matrix called as dentinoid consisting of collagen mainly type 1 collagen and type 3 and type 4 in small amount and non-collagenous proteins in tiny fraction consisting of dentin phosphoprotein dentin xyloprotein dentin xylophosphoprotein osteonectin osteopontin gla protein etc Organic matrix along with the water constitute about 30% and 70% of inorganic materials mineralize the pre-dentine into dentine. In early bell stage before differentiating into ameloblast, the inner enamel epithelial cells they secrete some growth factors and signaling molecules like insulin-like growth factors, transforming growth factors and bond morphogenetic proteins. They induces the undifferentiated mesenchymal cells. Now the cells undergo mitosis and spindle fibers appear perpendicular to the basement membrane. Now the cell will divide into two daughter cells and the one which is exposed to growth factors and signaling molecules will differentiate into preodontoblast and the one which is unexposed will remain undifferentiated and will act as the subodontoblast. There is organization of odontoblastic cytoskeletal assembly. The preodontoblast elongate and develop rough endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, Golgi apparatus necessary for protein secretion, which requires the fibronectin, dichorin, laminin alpha 2, chondroitin for sulfate, etc. Now nucleus got polarized and shifts to position away from the inner enamel epithelium. Now coming to the matrix formation, the odontoblast will secrete collagenous and non-collagenous proteins in extracellular region towards the inner enamel epithelium. They have protein-rich fluid called as proline, which appears in rough endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus and then it migrates to cell processes in dense granules and emptied into the extracellular collagenous matrix of the predentine. The initial mantle dentine matrix has type 1 collagen and the von Krops fibers comprising of type 3 collagen. Now, as soon as the first layer of dentine is formed, the ameloblast will secrete the enamel matrix over the pre-dentine as a result of reciprocal induction. Now, as the cell recedes towards the pulp, it leaves behind a single extension and several processes join into one, which becomes enclosed in a tubule. It is called as odontoblastic process or tomes fibers. It keeps elongating as the more organic matrix is deposited and odontoblast moves towards the pulp. Odontoblastic processes are finally embedded in dentinal tubules in fully formed dentine. Thus the mental dentine, they do not have the dentinal tubules. Now after secretion of the organic matrix, the mineral seeding occurs but only up to a point where there is a small layer of unmineralized organic matrix is present which is called as pre-dentine and is present throughout the process of dentinogenesis between the odontoblast and the mineralized part of the dentine. It is 15 to 20 micrometer thick. 
Now, after the secretion and mineralization of mantle dentine, the circumpulpal dentine matrix starts to be deposited, comprising of type 1 collagen, non collagenous proteins, and proteoglycans. It is present between the mantle dentine and unmineralized predentine. The matrix deposition of the circumpulpal dentine is different in a way that the predentine consists of collagen and proteoglycans, the layer which is immediately near the cell bodies. And the non-collagenous proteins are transported via the odontoblastic processes and deposited in the mineralization front in predentine immediately below the mineralized dentine. So, circumpulpal dentine has two compartments, predentine and the mineralized dentine. Now, coming towards the mineralization, it starts from the mantle dentine and process towards the circumpulpal dentine. When the odontoblast secrete the mantle dentine matrix, it bursts off number of membrane bound vesicles called as matrix vesicles. They come to lie superficially near the basal lamina. These contains phospholipids, enzymes like alkaline phosphatase, metalloproteinases, etc. They can bind the calcium and inorganic phosphate and initiate the hydroxyapatite crystal growth. The seed of growth is initiated by phospholipids within the vesicles. They rupture from the vesicles and spread as a cluster of crystallites. Now they fuse with the adjacent crystals and mineralize the matrix. But in circumpulpal dentine matrix, there are no matrix vesicles found. So how the mineralization occurs? So here what rather happens is calcium is transported from the subodontoblastic area to the mineralization front through odontoblastic process or in between the odontoblasts. Alkaline phosphatase activity and calcium ATPase activity at the distal end of the cell has been reported within the odontoblast which may facilitate the transport of the mineral ions to the mineralization front. Now, the non-collagenous proteins also helps in the mineralization of the dentine. Now, if we look at the mineralization pattern, these are globular and linear pattern. Globular pattern is also called as calcospheric pattern. In mantle dentine matrix, the matrix vesicles gives rise to mineralization foci where collagen may be arranged in walls or in concentric rings. Within the globular islands of mineralization, the crystal deposition appears to take place radially from a common center called as ferrolite formation, which is the first site of calcification. This may result in globules or concentric masses of calcification, which may enlarge and fuse with the adjacent globules. Hence, the mantle dentine has globular dentine. Now, when the calcification or mineralization front appears uniform, it is called as linear pattern. The circumpulpal dentine has both globular and linear calcification. The crystals are deposited in form of very fine plates of hydroxyapatite on the surface of collagen fibers in ground substances. And the crystals associated with collagen fibrils are arranged in orderly fashion with their long axis paralleling the fibrils long axis. The radicular dentinogenesis is slower and less mineralized due to less phosphoryl content and there is different orientation of collagen fibers than the coronal dentin that is parallel to cementodentinal junction. Here the Hertwig epithelial root sheath influence the odontoblast, so the collagenous fibers are led adjacent to non-collagenous matrix of Hertwig epithelial root sheath. 
Now coming to the secondary and tertiary dentinogenesis, the secondary dentine forms after the root completion throughout the life. It is present in the roof and floor of the pulpal chamber and have fewer dentinal tubules. Now the tertiary dentine forms at a specific site only in response to the injury. So this was all about the dentinogenesis. Thanks for watching and press the bell icon for the latest video updates.